Greeted by well-wishers, including her mother, Hannah Morgan returning to Bluff after swimming across Fovo Strait on Tuesday. The 20 kilometre wide channel has only been crossed by seven other swimmers and presents huge difficulties for those who attempt it. Morgan's support team were helped with the loan of an electric shark repeller. The New Zealand Diving and Salvage Operation and Sanford's lent us their shark shield, uh, which gave us a little bit more confidence. Uh, just an electronic shield that sort of sends out a, 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 yeah, a field that gives her some sort of protection. Stinging jellyfish are also a challenge, as John van Leeuwen found out back in 1963 when he became the first to swim the strait. When we struck the blue bottles in the water, uh, they're a uh, Portuguese man of war. Uh, they got massive big sl tentacles on them. They've, you feel them all the way around your body when you used to swim through them. Van Leeuwen had grease dabbed all over his body to avoid the stings, except for his head. Around the face, I, I had no, no grease on it at all, and, the, uh, f f and, and they really just about killed me in the water. And I, I went to Ivan, the, the coach, and say, I'm not putting up with this anymore. And there was a shaft of, of, a, of the boat going through the water and there was grease all around the, uh, the shaft there, you know, dirty mm. black grease. So Ivan got his hand in and he got a handful of grease and put it all around my face. Morgan says out of all the challenges, seasickness was the worst for her. I got really, really seasick. Um, and that really just puts you in a green state. So it was pretty hard. Um, and feeling that for like at least six of the however long I was in the water hours. So um, I'm just absolutely just chuffed that I could get through it because that was, that like, just had me green in the face. Hannah's Swim Straight for Life Give a Little page has now raised around $25,000 towards mental health. And in Vicargo, for the South Today.